What I enjoy most about my job is the family element that we have on the job. Everybody comes together despite our differences. We may argue one day, but we come back, the work gets done. We have a family element. Guys sit down after work sometimes. We have a little um, gathering and all of that, have a little talk. That's what I enjoy most about my job, just the, the camaraderie of the job. I enjoy at the end of the day to see all the garbage up that we were charged to get up for that day. Um, I, 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 I just love keeping the island clean. Been like that since I've been there. Um, I'm alright with that. I, um, that's probably the best thing I like about my job. At the end of the day, I know that the task that we started is finished. The job's very interesting. I mean, you, you meet a lot of people. Very interesting how the people are, they gravitate and around Christmas time, they come out, they give us presents and, you know, little trinkets and stuff. So we do have some of the positive ones that are out there that really speak up for us. And, you know, that's, it's positive. Some of them are negative because they don't know what we have to deal with. The one thing I would tell residents is to just think and care more about us. Our role is, is different. So we guys, we pick up trash, rain blow or shine. So just be careful of what you're doing and how you lay the trash out, you know, because if we, if we decide that we do leave it, you know, we, which we have a right to do, then you, the public gets upset and then we start receiving phone calls and then it moves on to accusations of us not doing our job, which isn't true. It's just that we just feel that it we're being disrespected by the way it's been laid out. So just have a little bit more care in how you lay the trash out and what you put in the trash as well. It's very challenging. It's a challenging job. It's a dangerous job. A lot of people putting glass and not putting notes on the bag and then people putting brown paper bag, taking it as a trash bag and then the rain falls and then we pick up the bag and then trash goes everywhere. So it's, it's the goalpost moves, you know. And what's strange is they have nuts, have more garbage. <laughs> you know, and, and, and it's strange, like if you go to Middleton and, and it's loaded, if you go to and there's one or two bags, you know, at, at, at the stuff, you know, it's, it, it, it's strange. I always say, how come the people that's got the most money have the less garbage? And the people that's got the less money, it's, 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 it's garbage for lure, you know what I'm saying? So it's interesting in the fact that um, you, you, be, you learn from, from the habits of, 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 of Bermudians as far as how they, you know, putting up what they put out and, and, and um, you know, just day-to-day -day garbage. And the garbage in the, in the West is the same garbage in the East. It smells the same, it looks the same, it's the same, you know.